Hi, this is Bob Miller with ColorHQ.com, and today we're going to talk about Canon's Accounting Manager for Windows. The Accounting Manager requires that you have two pieces of software installed on your computer. The first is the printer driver for the printer that you're going to be using, and the second is the status monitor. Both of these programs can be found on your CD that came with the printer, or you can download them off of Canon's website at usa.canon.com. Right now, I have gone to the Devices and Printers section in Windows, and I'm going to choose the IPF 6450. That's the printer we're going to work with here. And I'm right-clicking on it, and we're going to go to Printing Preferences. The Printing Preferences dialog box is opening, and here you will have a tab that's titled Utility. Within that, there's a button that says Maintenance, which will launch another screen where you will have a tab for Accounting, and then an appropriate button for launching the Accounting Manager as well. While the Accounting Manager is launching, let me explain that the Accounting Manager can store the history of your prints, but that history is limited by whether or not your printer has a hard drive. For example, if you have an IPF 6400, you will be limited to recording about 20 previous jobs. If you have a 6450, that printer includes a hard drive and therefore can store literally hundreds of jobs uh, for you to analyze later on. Here is the accounting manager and once the accounting manager opens you'll notice that the first column is your job costing. Now the job cost is based on the ink price and the paper price and those things are set in the setting area up at the top left. But before you actually go and put in your costs, you'll want to work in the section called Units and Display. The Units and Display will talk about currency. In this case, we're dealing with dollars. It also has ink levels that will be listed in milliliters. The paper width and the paper length, however, will be listed in meters and you'll want to change that so that the paper width is listed in inches and the paper length in feet. The overall dis area display format should be in feet squared. Once those settings are made, you'll go back to settings on the upper left of your menu and go to unit costs. For the unit cost, the first thing that we're going to look at is ink. In this case, Canon has given us a checkbox, which makes things super easy. Uh, the ink capacity uh, is 130 milliliters, and the ink price is 7616. And by using this particular checkbox, it'll use the same price for all of the different colors. The next thing that we're going to look at is the paper. So here we have two paper types. The first one is Art Matte Canvas. And I've already gone ahead and put in the information. So there's a drop down menu here. And from that drop down menu, you will choose the paper type that you're using. In this case, as I said, we're using Artistic Matte Canvas. Uh, this is uh, actually not Canon's. Uh, media type, but a media type that we have created uh, custom for our printer along uh, with profiles that we create as well. Uh, we're very color critical here. That is our business. Uh, we install RIP solutions for proofing and we work with higher end uh, printers. So we want to make sure we're as color accurate as possible when we're printing on our demo unit. So this media type was created by us. Um, there's a, a corresponding profile that goes with it um, that we'll talk about in a different video. But right now, uh, we're going to look at the width, which is 24 inches. 
we're going to look at the length. It's 100 feet. And on our website, we sell this particular media for $137. So once we make the determination that that's OK, we'll go ahead and say OK. And that would update the price. So as you can see, again, here we do have the job costs. Uh, we have the media type. We have the total amount of paper consumed, the paper width in inches, the paper length in inches, and then the total amount of ink consumed. The nice thing about this is it also tells you how long the printer took to print that actual job. So in this, for the second one, uh, it took 8 minutes and 2 seconds to print that 24 by 25 print. Down below, you'll see the other media type that I have currently given costing to. And that particular media type is an Epson Hot Press Bright White. One thing that people don't often realize is that the Canon printer actually works with multiple different media types. You don't just simply have to use the Canon media, although that is very good media to use. And uh, if you're using the existing media setups, uh, it actually can prove to be quite easy and accurate. However, if you do want to experiment and use things like Epson Hot Press Bright White or Epson Photo Luster, those medias will print on the Canons just fine. Uh, we can also help you create custom media types and custom profiles based on your needs so that you get the most accurate prints possible out of your printer. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call us. We're always here to help. Our number is 888-265-6717, and you can reach us at extension 1 for sales.